because there's also another dimension of it is so we're let's say we're we're falling in love with the discovery of the truth right that could be one way to phrase mm -hmm. what what we're experiencing together that's why we're all here right? mm -hmm. we're all in love with each other right but it's not it's not only because we're all like really good looking intelligent fantastic <laughs> <and good. laughs> I mean that's a part of it maybe <laughs> Right, we're all in love with each other because we all recognize the one self in each other. You see? And it, that love is not dependent on personal history. Mm -hmm. right? Some of us know each other for a lot longer, 10 years. Some, some a lot less. You see? And so that, that might, there might be a certain, there's different, there's different within that greater, greater love, there's <clears> different <throat> dimensions of relationship, right? But that greater love is the same, potentially, in every case, <clears throat> assuming we're awake to this. Isn't that a miracle? Mm. That is a miracle. Um, and so, you know, uh, we're, 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 we're growing relationship, relationships based on this. You know, and then, uh, and then, you know, there's everything else in terms of what we might learn about each other historically and all of that. That's, that's secondary, right, to this love that we've discovered and that, right, that makes a kind of intimacy possible that most people don't even experience in their most, in, in their marriage or in their, their romantic emotional sexual bond. <clears throat> This is what everybody's looking for. Right? But uh, what I wanted to say is another aspect of the, this wound of love is that we're all going to die. A couple of us recently almost died, could have died. Right? And we, we all felt that. Right? So, you know, we don't know how long we're all going to stay associated. Let's see. But eventually some of us are going to, are going to die, start dying, getting, you know. So this is also the wound of love, do you see? Because what does it mean to, to really love each other, you know, m deeply and not hold anything back? And, and at the same time... Um, make oneself vulnerable to that very fact. It's painful. There's no, that's, there's no escaping that. <clears throat> so this is also what Adidas means by the wound of love. And it's because human beings want to protect themselves from this wound. Because it's the wound that breaks the heart, you mm -hmm. see. You can't, you can't be a separate self and feel that wound. Mm -hmm. You see. Both in the sense I was just saying, but also in the sense of, you know, human beings don't want to wake up to their unconsciousness, their darkness, their selfishness, their impurity. They don't want to see it. They don't want to confront it. They don't even know that they don't want to see it. And don't. That's how protected they, they are. <laughs> so that's why most human beings never really experience true love. Maybe for moments, you know. And that's why most human beings are looking for that union, that ultimate true love union. Where are they looking for it? In emotional, sexual relationships, primarily. You know, and all, all, all other ways, right down to the heroin addict. That's what he's looking for. All human beings are longing for this. Because it's our true nature. So even... So we're conscious of that fact, but even everyone else who's not conscious of this at all, right? The whole, what's driving the great search of every human being is this, wanting to discover this love. And, but one of the reasons that uh, for most human beings, they never, they're never able to enter into any kind of profundity 
it's because they just don't want to feel. Period. Which means feel everything. <laughs> 